All right, another long question, but quick response, so I'm just going to dive in. A point charge Q is located at the center of a toroidal coil of rectangular cross-section, inner radius A, outer radius A plus W, and height H. All right, so which carries a total of big N tightly wound turns and current I? A, find the electromagnetic momentum P of this configuration, assuming that W and H are much less than A. Okay, so this thing is a pretty wide torus. Uh, and then we have B, now the current in the toroid is turned off quickly enough that the point charge does not move appreciably as the magnetic field drops to zero. Show that the impulse in part on Q is equal to the momentum originally stored in the E and M fields. All right, let's go ahead and dive on in. Um, or for part A, we need to know that for the point charge of the... Um, the fields for the point charge and toroid are given as 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, Q over R squared, R hat, B is equal to mean out over 2 pi. And then we have N, I over S, phi hat for points inside, of course. So if we take the cross product for G, um, again, we have uh, take the constants out front, epsilon naught to cancel. You should be aware it's pretty systematic at this point. And then we see that we have R cross phi. Um, again, we'll go ahead and leave that alone for now. Um, now, the note here that uh, W and H are much less than A allows us to avoid field variations. Um, so, what this tells us is that we can appro or approximate S as A, since the other two are so less than. And what this tells us is that the R vector is equal to A S hat. So, what this is really saying is that that R hat is equal to um, uh, A over S. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So we're solving for um, S over A, something like that. Yeah, so we see that when we plug that in, um, what we're trying to do now is get rid of that R hat and the cross products and replace it with S hat, which is what we do. And we replace R squared with A and S with A. And you see we have that there. Um, again, kind of shaky, but the approximations work out actually. Um, so again, that only works because A is much bigger than the other two dimensions, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and chuck through. We see that S hat cross phi hat is equal to Z hat, and then we see that P is equal to the integral. Again, we've seen this before. Let's set that up. Uh, we have our integration space of ds, d phi, dz. Okay, zero to h was our z, zero to two pi is our phi, and the s is a to a plus w. Um, once we cancel out everything we need to, pull out the constants, we see that we get h from dz, 2 pi from phi, and the a plus w minus a, the a's cancel, and we're left with just w, 2 pi cancels with the 8 pi squared, and we see that the linear momentum goes to mu naught over 4 pi q n i h w over a squared in the z at direction. Okay. Now, for part B, the change in magnetic field induces an electric field as given by problems uh, 7.19 with z equals 0. I'll go ahead and link that problem so you don't have to go searching for it. Uh, pretty easy to deal with, though. Um, with z equals 0, just plug it in. You see that you get uh, a squared to 3s power from that. Um, so you get a cubed, actually. Yeah, and then the a up top in the numerator divides that down, so you're left with a squared. Um, nothing too crazy, but now we, if we were trying to solve for the impulse, deliver to Q, therefore we need the force, uh, which is equal to QE, and then of course take the integral of that. So if we take the integral of Q times this E field that we were given, we see that we have DI DT, which cancels out with the time element, and we're left with uh, negative Q uh, times mean out over 4 pi in HWA squared Z hat. Um, and then again, since we have the current to start with, and we go to zero current, right, um, in the toroid, since the magnetic field is dropping, that puts the I at the bottom, zero at the top, over DI, and then we just get zero minus I, gives us negative I. So the negative signs cancel, and the impulse is equal to mu naught Q over 4 pi A squared, and H W I in the Z hat direction, which looks to match that um, pretty well. It matches the exact same. So, again, conservation works. It's weird, but it's a thing. Let it roll.